sometimes you'll be given an equation or a function in formal mapping notation. So from memory, or with something that we looked at back in uh, term one, term two, given that kind of there is a function, you've got certain information there. This, what does this represent? Well, it tells the domain over which a function exists. This tells us that it's a subset of all real numbers, and then this is our function. Now, it's asking us to calculate f of 1. Well, that means that in this function, for x, we've substituted x with 1, so we're going to do it in the equation as well. Over here, we're asked to obtain x for f of x equals 0. So basically, we're trying to work out we're solving for x when f of x equals 0. So, we're going to work out f of, uh, of 1. So, we're going to say f of 1 equals sine of pi over 2 times 1. So, we're left with sine of pi over 2. And then, we know that between uh, that sine of pi on 2 is equal to 1. Because... According to a unit circle, which I forgot to draw, if we go up to uh, pi on 2, we're at 1. Now, we're trying to find this equation equals 0, so we're saying sine of pi over 2x equals 0. So, if we're trying to find out uh, where it equals 0, what we do is we say, let that equal theta. So let theta equal pi over 2x. So now we're saying where does sine of theta equal 0? Well, between a domain of 0 and 2, we know that we're starting at 0, we're going to go around, and we're not quite going to reach pi. Because of that, oh, we've also got a domain to worry about. So uh, we multiply zero by pi over two, and we multiply uh, two by pi over two. So our domain is 0 to pi. Okay, now it's going to make a little bit more sense. So we want to find out where sine of 0 equals 0. Well, we know that it happens. Sorry, sine of theta equals 0. In our unit circle, well, between 0 and pi, of course. In our unit circle, we know it's going to happen at 0, and we know it's going to happen at pi. So therefore, we say that theta equals 0, and then equals now, we know that theta equals, um, take that back, we know that theta equals pi on 2, so therefore, or pi on 2x, therefore, pi over 2x equals 0, and also pi. So now to solve for, um, to solve for x, multiply both sides by 2, we've got pi x will still equal 0, and it'll equal 2 pi, divide both sides by pi, and we've got x equals still 0, and also 2. So that's, um, that's how we go about solving with uh, formal mapping notation.